What is going on, everybody? Let's talk about four yield max funds that time has forgotten and nobody talks about. This is Mike, the Tactical Stock Scalper. All right, all right. We're going to start here with AIYY Yield Max Fund. First, we're going to look at the underlying AI. So if we look here in the daily time frame, we see the EMAs currently all squished up and and crossing each other and up and down. That shows that there is no trend. That is just chopping and price action shows you that as well. Uh, it did get below $20 over there, as you see, to, to 16 and since that time has rebounded and kind of consolidating here. So get on a weekly time frame. On a weekly time frame, it is definitely bearish as everything is below the 200 EMA, but there is some consolidation here. Now, let's look at AYYY, okay, the yield max fund. So this thing pays 86%. That's a really fat divvy, right? That, that's huge. But with that kind of dividend and the uh, AI stock moving the way it is, this one has potential to really go down further, meaning AIYY. If the underlying cannot get back to these other highs, you know, that I had way up there, this thing could um, be a Tesla, in essence, with Tesla, as it just keeps going down. So this is one you're going to have to keep an eye on, and this is one nobody talks about, and it looks like kind of for good reason. We'll just have to see how this underlying plays out um, over the coming weeks. I would say under $20, you need to be cautious. Um, if we get to this low here at $16 that you see over here to the left, let me draw a line, and we break that low right there, this thing is probably in trouble. But right now, it looks to be okay. It looks to be stable. Um, under $25, you probably need to raise an eyebrow. And under 20 you need to be cautious if you're watching the underlying. So I would put this one as one that no one talks about and people forgot about it, probably for a good reason. Let's go look at JPMO. So first, let's start with the underlying. Let's go look at JP Morgan. Wow. Look at this thing on the daily time frame. What a ripper. Uh, this thing pays 27%. Let's look at it on a weekly time frame. Weekly time frame looks really good. Look at this on a weekly time frame. Higher highs, higher lows, continues to build uh, year in and year out. Uh, this one looks halfway decent. Let's check out the underlying. JPMO, I'm sorry, not the underlying, the actual yield max fund. Maybe one day I'll type it in correctly. JPMO. Let's pull it out to a daily. Wow. Uh, this one's done really well, too. It's above inception price. And what's JP Morgan paying or JPMO? 27%. So, man, if you bought these lows or even around $20 uh, from inception or if you bought the dip as it went up, you were doing really well. Now, it's paying 27%. I think that's solid. I mean, it's not, you know, obviously AIYY at 86%, but 27% with an ascending stock uh, and an ascending underlying, you might want to put JPMO uh, on your radar. Check this out. Now, on the underlying, I'm going to be looking at this one. Look how well it respects EMAs. You know how I love my EMAs and, and how it's riding the 20. If you want to get in this one, you may want to wait for a pullback to an EMA, see if it touches and holds it, and then get in there. Uh, yeah, I would put a JPMO as one people should not forget about. Looks like it's having resistance up here at the $200 level. So we may get a pullback here uh, to this white EMA, maybe to the 190 level. I would put, well, I am putting JPMO 
on my radar. Let's go look at another one. Let's go look at Disney. And I know Disney's a hot button topic and people either love it or hate it. But we're just going to look at the, the chart and the distribution, right? So let's look at Disney on a daily. What a ripper, right? We had this down period here with Disney on the daily time frame, right? And then since it hit that lows around $80, it has since ripped up. Uh, let's look at it on a weekly time frame. Uh, she's got room to run. Look at this. I mean, she could get to 140. She could surpass that 140 level and go all the way up to 180 or 200. Disney definitely has room to run. Let's look at the Yield Max Fund. Let's pull it out to a daily time frame. Yeah, this one has done really well, too. Look at this. You know, it came in at 20 bucks, dropped down there to 1929, and since that point has done nothing but go up following its underlying. This thing's paying a 41% dividend. And it's way above uh, inception price, and it had some beautiful dip buys in there. So uh maybe, you know, depending upon your preference for Disney, you may want to put this one on your radar as well. Um, it doesn't appear to really respect EMAs. Looks like it's more respects price action. Hard to tell. Let's go back to the daily. Let's go back to the underlying, actually, before I say that. Um, yeah, there's some EMA respect here. And we see right in here it's been using the 20S support. Uh, if you want to get in this one, you may want to wait for a pullback maybe to uh, the 20 EMA or there's a buy zone. Look at this beautiful buy zone here on Disney. Got a buy zone here. We got a buy zone here. Really nice buy zone here. If you're looking to get into it, this may be a level, a pullback level that would uh, maybe uh, pique your interest between 110 and 115. Nice consolidation through there, and it ripped up out of the consolidation phase, and it's paying 41%. Okay, maybe one uh, you want to keep on your radar. Let's look at XOMO, right? Let's see how this thing is done. So first, let's look at the underlying... So we can get an actual picture of what it's doing on a daily time frame. Zoom out here. Uh, wow, this thing trades in a pretty nice channel. We can see clearly here, at least on a daily time frame, we'll have to zoom out and look at the weekly. But look at this here. Double top up there, got sold off. Coming back up to the 120 level, will it be sold off again? Um, this one looks actually fairly easy to trade. Doesn't appear to follow EMAs whatsoever, so no respect on EMAs here. Looks like this is all price action. So 120 looks like it would be the top to sell off. And it looks like around the $100 level is the buy level, the deep buy level, as we say here. Look at this. Nice little um, consolidation and, and just the way it trades in this channel. Let's look at it on a weekly time frame. Here we are on a weekly time frame and look how Exxon is just ripped up through time. Wow, look at this phase through here. This is fascinating. I wish I would have looked at this chart a long time ago because this would have been great to uh to short at these levels and go long at the 100 dollar level look at that really nice through here you could make a lot of money if you went long at the 100 sold at 120 went short at 120 and went back down uh the underlying is creeping up to its sell level at 120 wow uh i like this chart a lot let's go look at the underlying or let's go look at the yield max fund I have not looked at Exxon Mobil before ever, so um, that was uh, pretty fascinating. Let's see what the Yomax fund looks like. 
go to a daily time frame here. Well, we got a little issue here. So let's look at this. So here we are with this thing going down. And let's look at the underlying. Pretty big discrepancy there as far as the movement on the yield max fund versus the underlying. So for share price, that's an issue. Hmm. And it is paying only 18%. Yeah, I think this is one probably I'll forget about. I would much rather, much rather uh, mess with the underlying here. I don't think the 18% is worth it for me and my plan um, for this, right? It's not even close. It looks like a GUI almost. Not even close to following the underlying. Uh, like we showed some of the others that did follow the underlying rather well. This one apparently does not. So two that I'd forget about for me are XOMO and AIYY. Two that you could possibly put on your radar, DISO and JPMO. Hope you enjoyed the content. This is Mike, the tactic.